Well, welcome. Welcome to the 2023 Convocation for New Students here at UC Berkeley. Now, I hear we have both freshmen and transfer students here. Is that correct? All right, so I need all my freshmen. Give a loud cheer, as loud as you can. Where are my freshmen? Nice, nice. All right, transfers, can you beat that? Where are my transfers? Freshmen, you have some learning to do. You have some learning to do. That's all right. Well, I am one of our mic men here at UC Berkeley. Uh, basically what I do is I get you guys pumped and excited about all things Cal. I'm here for you guys at convocation. We're here for you at football and basketball games and a bunch of other sporting events. So make sure to come out to our first football game of the season. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Now, before we get started, I need to teach you guys one of the most important, important cheers here at UC Berkeley, and that's the Go Bears. So it's very important, very easy. All you need to do is on three, yell Go Bears. So can I get a Go Bears on three? Go Bears on three. One, two, three. Go Bears! Good job. And a lot of you know the two beats very well. So it's Go Bears. We're gonna do it again. I need you guys louder. I need you guys more excited. You ready? Give me a Go Bears on three. Go Bears on three. One, two, three. Go Bears! One, two, three. One, two, three. Go Good job. You're ready. Another really fun one we do, especially in the football stadium, is we've got all our students on one side and all of our alumni on the other. So we're going to practice that here. One side's going to yell, go. The other side is going to yell, bears. So we're going to split along the half court line. So this side, what you're going to yell only on the first one, hey, students. Go. You got that? After they pick up, you don't need to say the hey students. You just say they go. This side, when you hear hey students go, they're talking about you and you need to reply with bears. Once again, don't say the hey students after the first try. Are you guys ready to try it out? There we go. All right. This side, remember, hey students go on the first one, only go on the second one. You ready? I need a hey, students, go on three. One, two, three. Hey, students, go. Go. Keep it going. You can get louder. Two more. Good job, you guys. Give yourselves a round of applause. All right, so make sure to come out for the football games, make sure to come out for the basketball games, and now I have the pleasure to introduce Dean of Students, Sunny Lee. Good morning! Oh, come on, you're not still asleep, are you? Good morning! All right, welcome. I know some of you are from different time zones, so be kind to each other and yourself. You may be a little bit of a cranky bear today, but I promise you by the end of the day, you're gonna be so pumped and excited to start your journey here at Cal. I'm Sunny Lee, I use she, her pronouns. I have the honor to be your Dean of Students. And on behalf of the campus leadership on stage here today, we're so delighted to host new student convocation. And as much as we have chosen you, just remember that you have also chosen us. And we think, we're a little biased, but that you have made the absolute best choice. You were chosen from over 125 applicants to UC Berkeley, and you're now a member of the 2025 and 27 graduating classes. There are 9,400 of you today. So give yourselves and each other a big round of applause for making it to this point. I also want you to think of that special someone in your mom. It could be your, in your life, it could be your mom, it could be your sibling, it could be your significant other, it could be a, your dependent who helped get you to here today. Because no one gets to this point alone. So just hold them in your mind, send them a thought, and energy of gratitude. 
Before we begin this event, we take a moment to recognize that Berkeley sits on the territory of Huchun, the ancestral and unceded land of the Chichenyo Ohlone, the successors of the historic and sovereign Verona Band of Alameda County. This land was and continues to be of great importance to the Ohlone people, and we recognize that every member of the Berkeley community has and continues to benefit from the use and occupation of this land since the institution's founding in 1868. Consistent with our values of community and diversity, we have a responsibility to acknowledge and make visible the university's relationship to Native peoples. By offering this land acknowledgement, we affirm Indigenous sovereignty and will work to hold University of California Berkeley more accountable to the needs of American Indian and indigenous peoples. Now, I'd like to officially welcome you, the class of 2025 and 27, to the University of California, Berkeley, and the Chancellor's new student convocation. In life, it's important to mark new beginnings and milestones, and that's exactly what we're here to do today you get one new student convocation. We're here to celebrate this new chapter of your journey here at Berkeley. I want you to take this moment to look around this arena and see your new classmates. Soak in this special moment and feel the energy and vibrations of this space. Your future lifelong friends might be here. Your future life partner might be here and you haven't met them yet. Some of you are feeling excited right now. Some of you may be feeling a little nervous. And what's ahead? This feeling has a name by my 11-year-old daughter. It's called Nurse Sighted because nervousness and excitement are really just two sides of the same coin. It's the same feeling but with different interpretations. So whatever you may be feeling, know that, a, that over 9,000 other new students are likely feeling something similar as you. You are not alone. So now we begin our ceremony with a national anthem sung by Paulina Wynn. Paulina graduated from Cal this past May with a dual BA in political science and music. As an undergraduate, Paulina kept herself busy with the California Golden Overtones, drawn to scale a cappella, and the UC Rally Committee, in addition to working as a campus ambassador and GBO leader. I ask now that you rise if you are able and please join me in welcoming Paulina. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the rain parts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? Thank you, Paulina, such a beautiful voice. All right, I hope you're all excited to meet someone who has quite a celebrity status on our campus. 
and that is our very own Chancellor Carol Christ. Chancellor Christ is the 11th Chancellor of our university, a celebrated scholar of Victorian literature. Chancellor Christ is also well known as an advocate for quality, accessible public higher education, a proponent of the value of a broad education in the liberal arts and sciences, and a champion of women's issues and diversity on college campuses. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Let's give a warm, heartfelt welcome to Chancellor Chris. Good morning. I want to welcome you, the class of 25 and the class of 27. My name is Carol Christ, and as, chan as chancellor, it's my distinct honor and great pleasure to formally welcome you to the University of California at Berkeley. We are delighted to have you with us. I have to admit, this is my favorite time of year. As the fall semester begins, as our community begins to come together again, as energy and anticipation build, as the campus fills with potential and promise as Berkeley only can. This is a place that's filled with passion, purpose, and extraordinary people. Great things await you on the road ahead. I know how hard you've worked, how you've persevered through difficult days and surmounted numerous challenges to get here. In so many ways, your resilience is a reflection of our campus as a whole. You're joining a strong community where we have in recent years come together in support of each other, our university, and our academic mission. We've learned a great deal along the way and have emerged stronger than ever before. I believe that Berkeley and all of you are uniquely prepared to take on the challenges and opportunities of these times. We're humbled by your vote of confidence in this university, in our ability to marshal Berkeley's resources, to adapt, to innovate, to do all that we possibly can to support your dreams and aspirations, to help you thrive, connect, and take your place as lifelong members of the Cal family. You've spared no effort to earn your place here and will do the very same to support you so that you can get all that you wish and need from your time on this amazing campus. What makes Berkeley Berkeley is our extended community of students, faculty, staff, and alumni, the people who individually and collectively create the dynamic atmosphere that's so conducive to learning teaching and discovery. It's through our individual and collective actions that we manifest the university's mission and values, our dedication to advancing the greater good, our search for solutions to the planet's most pressing problems. Now, in the wake of the pandemic, when it was so difficult to gather and connect, we to engage and benefit from all the university and the community have to offer. We more deeply understand and appreciate the power and purpose of community, and we're more committed than ever to ensuring that our community is diverse, equitable, and inclusive, offering a true sense of belonging to each and every student. A strong, supportive campus community is what allows us to take intellectual risks, to continuously challenge the status quo, to learn from one another, to model and embody our societal values, to thrive amidst an amazing diversity of origins and identities. I also believe that the excellence of our university depends upon diversity of thought and perspective, both of which are the result of and profoundly enhanced by the diversity of our campus community. And so we are today more committed than ever to continuing our comprehensive efforts to ensure that the world's greatest public university truly represents and reflects 
the state and people that it serves. Our quest for communal strength and connection assumes even more importance given the salience and urgency of issues related to social justice. There is a need and an opportunity to rethink and re-examine how we can, in the finest Berkeley fashion, make the world a better place and model the change that we wish to see. This is the community that awaits you, that needs your participation and perspectives, and that has much to offer all who dive in. And when you do, be prepared for passionate debate, sharp differences of opinion about controversial issues. With that in mind, we're fortunate to have our foundational principles of community, principles that provide for the coexistence of a strong, supportive campus community and strongly held beliefs. Developed through an extraordinary collaboration among students, faculty, and staff, the principles enshrine essential values such as respect, civility, and honesty that enable all of us to feel heard and accepted, to explore new ideas, to advocate for our beliefs, to feel safe and to thrive amidst a wonderful diversity of origins, identities, and beliefs. And so I urge you all to read and embrace Berkeley's principles of community, which are easily accessible online. At Berkeley, we are and always have been the change makers. We're showing, I believe, how essential the public research university is to our country and our world. Now more than ever, the world needs people who believe in science, in the notion of a greater good, in justice, equity, diversity, inclusiveness, and the truth. And these, of course, are the very values that form the foundation of all that Berkeley is and stands for. It's our collective responsibility to ensure that it will ever be so. This is a time of creative ferment and possibility, and that's prime time for this public university and for you. There's so much happening here, so many doors to open and avenues to explore, so much to learn and experience. And so I urge you all to take full advantage of the academic riches on offer, to seek out and forge relationships with our amazing faculty and staff, to explore the opportunities for engagement and participation in extracurricular activities, to make the most of this wonderful place that is truly unlike any other. I'm so glad you're here. Fiat Lux and Go Bears! Thank you, Chancellor Christ. She has such cl clear and powerful uh, words for us and exemplifies just amazing leadership. And I definitely look up to her for the way that she is, has led us through some incredibly difficult and historical times. So uh, thank you, Chancellor Chris, for your continued inspiration. All right, how many of you played sports in high school? Raise your hand. Many of you. How many of you like watching sports? Okay, maybe a little more of you. How many of you are allergic to sports? Okay, a few of you. Well, I just want to present you here to this beautiful pavilion. And for those of you who played, wa like watching, or even if you've been allergic to before, give it a chance. Come and support our wonderful athletics program because it can be a wonderful part of your student experience. All right, can you hear me? Wait, what? Can you hear me? Okay, I just want to make sure. Uh, next, we'll hear from our director of athletics, Jim Knowlton. Before coming to Berkeley, Jim served as athletics director at the United States Air Force Academy and the Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, where he was named the National Association of Collegiate Directors of Athletics Director of the Year. Throughout his career, Jim has focused on successfully fostering programs that placed a premium on leadership and character development among student athletes 
coaches, and staff. He has de demonstrated an unfailing commitment to high achievement, both in academics and athletics, has a proven track record as a fundraiser, and has shown a consistent ability to take on complex challenges and develop strategic solutions. Now, please join me in welcoming Jim to the stage. He'll be joined by the women's basketball coach, Sharman Smith, and men's basketball coach, Mark Madsen. Let's give it up for them, come on. All right, come on coaches, come, come give me that support I need. Thanks, Sonny, and uh, thanks to your team for putting this on. This is absolutely amazing to see the next uh, generation of Cal students here, and uh, we are excited to have you. A big shout out to my colleague, um, Steve Sutton, who's the Vice Chancellor of Student Affairs, who really is, is involved in everything you as students will do during your time here in some way, shape, or form. Uh, I'm also grateful for the Chancellor, and as you get to know her, you'll find that she's everywhere students are, so you will see her a lot, and she has been an integral part of the fabric here uh, at the, the University of California, Berkeley for a long time. I want to start by just saying congratulations, and if you don't know it, 125,000 young men and women applied to Cal, but there are millions of students that would love to be sitting in your chairs right now. And when you step back and think about that, I know you're nervous, I know, I know this is new, but you are in a seat that there are literally thousands of others that would like to be in. And so my message to you is we picked you, you picked us, you absolutely belong, and we are excited to see what you're gonna do while you're here uh, at the number one public university in the world. So congratulations, uh, we are really, really excited to watch you grow and, and what you're gonna do while you're here at Cal and beyond. You are sitting in, in Haas Pavilion, and Haas Pavilion is the home of our men's and women's basketball teams, our men's and women's gymnastics teams, and our volleyball team. Who has ever seen a sporting event in Haas Pavilion? Raise your hand. All right, I see a few. Tell your classmates how fun it is to see an event here in Haas Pavilion. And the same for uh, California Memorial Stadium. How many people have seen an event in California Memorial Stadium, seen our football team play? It is a great way at both our events here and there to meet friends, new friends, other students, alums, fans, and we absolutely want you to come out and support our teams. You're gonna see Olympians, you're gonna see medalists, you're gonna see national champions, and all of them are training and competing in those facilities every day. So we are excited for you. We are grateful that you chose us. And I couldn't be more proud of our two basketball coaches who are here today. Both are fabulous coaches, former pro athletes, and when you come to a game, you are gonna be excited to see the quality of our student athletes on the court. So thanks for your support. Can't wait to see you here. Take advantage of this wonderful university and go Bears. Now I'll introduce Sharman Smith. Come on up. How are you guys doing? Not bad. Um, we need a lot of energy in this building, right? You're in the gym, so that means you have to be high energy all the time. So let's try again. How are you guys doing? Good. So I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret that Dem uh, Jim probably didn't share on purpose, but uh, anyone know what Mark and I have in common? One of the things we have in common. Because you're new students, maybe you don't know, but both Mark and I attended Stanford University. Got that boo. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right. Exactly. And I say that because we are here now. We wised up and now we're here, right? For you with the Bears. And we are highly competitive individuals. And you can imagine, you know, what we take from some of our peers and colleagues from coming to the other side of the Bay. And because we're competitive, we need you guys to help 
us win that battle so that people are like, well, of course they're at Cal. Of course they're in the East Bay. Of course they're wearing the blue and gold because that's the best choice. And they made a really good choice. I've been here for 16 years now. 16 years I've been wearing blue and gold and I absolutely love it. And I'm here today to ask for your help for our women's basketball program. We have a very good women's basketball program. We've been to a Final Four. We've won a Pac-12 championship. And we need your help to get back there. And so there are places where you know, people say, oh, the Cal students aren't engaged. The Cal students have to study too much. I need you guys to prove them wrong. I need you to come to Haas Pavilion and support women's basketball. I'll give you a couple reasons why. Number one, it's free. Sorry, Mark, but our games are free, right? So nothing out of your pocket, and I guarantee you, you will get a lot by coming to our games. Your peers on this team are phenomenal individuals. You will see them in your molecular and cell biology courses. You will see them in your legal studies courses. You will see them in your political economy classes because we are a team like many of our teams here that has above a 3.0 and came here for both the academics and the athletics. They are student athletes and they deserve your support. The true form, the true meaning of a student athlete. That's what our women's basketball team represents. So I hope you'll come out and see us. Uh, a couple other reasons. I've been in this gym when we played Stanford, when we played the Yukon Huskies, when we played USC, and this place is packed for women's basketball right? But it hasn't been students. It's a new challenge. We need students. Our marketing team will tell you, ah, students aren't into women's basketball. Please change that. I asked you to come one time, and I guarantee you, you will want to come back based on what you will see. One other favor I'm going to ask, if you could all take your phones out right now. I know you have your phone. You're probably on it already. Help me out here. Are you guys Twitter or Threads? What are we, where are we going towards? Everybody who's gonna stick with Twitter, can I hear you? Everybody moving to Threads. New students don't know what either one is. Okay, take your phone out, please. And I want you to go to your Instagram and I want you to follow Cal WB Ball. That's our program social, Cal WB Ball. Right now, I should see a boost of 9,000 plus followers for Cal WB Ball, right now. And also a boost on either threads or Twitter, whatever you prefer. When I go back into my office, I'm gonna pick 10 people from our new followers that will get a $25 gift certificate from me to IBEs. If you don't know about IBEs, you need to ask somebody. It's gonna be one of your spots where you go and eat. It's a special place in the East Bay. So I'm gonna pick 10 people, $25 gift card, if you follow us on social. So please do that, come out and support. This is a great institution, and this institution needs this athletics department to be great as well, so come help us be a part of that. I hope I don't steal Megan's thunder, but I wanna leave with just one cheer that's my favorite cheer here, okay? So on the count of three, we're gonna say, roll on you, bears, like that, just like that, all right? And we gotta see how long we can make the bears last. Ready? One, two, three. Roll on, you bears. One more time, I'm not gonna use the mic. Ready? One, two, three. Love it, love it. You're gonna need that at the football games. All right, thank you so much, and go Bears. I wanna start by thanking Chancellor Christ, each one of you and every alum for making UC Berkeley the best university in the world. This year's men's basketball team has new players, a new style of play, and a new winning attitude. My vision for this arena is winning, you guys coming and making friends, and everyone having a great evening and a great time. 
When I see you on campus, I want a high five. When I see you in Haas Pavilion, I want you loud. And when I see you over on Telegraph Avenue, at my favorite restaurant, Mezzo Sandwich Shop, lunch is on me. Go Bears. You heard him, lunch is on him, I'll be there. All right, next it's my privilege to introduce Sydney Roberts, your ASUC president, and ASUC is your student government. Sydney is a fourth year student studying political science and African American studies with minors in public policy and race and the law. She has a passion for political campaigns criminal justice, and public policy. Prior to becoming ASUC president, Sydney served as chief of staff for the student body president and was the chapter president of Alpha Phi sorority. Let's give a warm welcome to your president, Sydney. Good morning, new Golden Bears. I am truly honored to give you a warm welcome to the University of California, Berkeley. You're on the precipice of an extraordinary journey, and not just at any university, but at the number one public university in the world. Cal students are a collective of remarkable individuals, and you are now an integral part of that legacy. You should be incredibly proud of yourself. Congratulations. My name is Sydney Roberts, and I'm Berkeley's 146th student body president. I'm going into my fourth year, but three years ago, I was a newly admitted student, just like you, moving my entire life into a Clark Kerr triple. I vividly remember my first time here. It was a mix of excitement and unease, and some of you might face similar hardships. I struggled to find community, and it was hard to adjust. But I want to reassure you that all of the challenges you might face are just as vital to your journey as the victories. I learned a lot from my time here, and I want to share some lessons with you. Berkeley is a campus teeming with opportunities ready to be seized. I had to put myself out there more times than once to find my place here. But taking chances like joining the ASUC and running for a position in my sorority enabled me to make meaningful connections with people I've depended on throughout my college career. Changing my major and taking a research position over the summer introduced me to a new career path that I had never explored before. The people you befriend here, the people you're sitting next to right now, are going to be the ones to get you through late night study sessions and the professor you spontaneously spark conversation with can completely reshape your thinking. The pause you take at a Sproul Plaza table could redefine your entire college experience. Every opportunity you seize will contribute to your growth. You will be rewarded in insurmountable ways when you put yourself out there. And my journey may look different from yours, you may decide to join a hiking club or an acapella group and find your place there. Just know, however you start, it may take time, but you will absolutely find a community here ready to embrace you and an environment you're gonna flourish in. So starting tomorrow, I want you to relentlessly pursue your passions. What really matters is your ability to rebound from setbacks and to adjust to new circumstances. I want you to embrace challenges, to celebrate your achievements, and to let the lessons learned here be a foundation for your future successes. Let your journey at UC Berkeley be marked by curiosity and courage and camaraderie. Each one of you brings a unique perspective, an individual narrative, and that's what makes UC Berkeley unparalleled. Thank you, Fiat Lux, and Go Bears! Thank you, Sydney. Right, so next 
my honor to introduce the student coordinator for Golden Bear Orientation, Jennifer Antonis Lopez. It's New Student Service's mission to give each student the support and resources necessary for a successful transition to campus academically, socially, emotionally, and culturally. So Jennifer is going to come up and take a few minutes to tell you about this amazing orientation that they have planned for you over the next few days. Now, before Jennifer comes up, I just want you to think about all of the people that it took to put this event together. How many of you have ever planned an event or a meeting or a birthday party? A little something, a little gathering. Raise your hand if you've ever planned anything in your life. Have you ever planned an event for almost 10,000 people? Probably not. I don't think, I don't know if I have even. So just think about that scale, planning a week-long program like this, welcoming people from all over the world, the best of the best, you, right? Smart, sharp, critical, intelligent. So I just want you to really give it up because these are students, mostly students, who have made today possible with some incredible staff behind them. But it takes hundreds, hundreds of people to make this event, and I hope that you will consider being a GBO volunteer. Did you hear me? Volunteer. The people who are going to lead you today are volunteering their week to create a warm, welcoming environment for you. So with that, let's give the best welcome and thanks to Jennifer. All right, hello everyone. I wanna say welcome to everyone here, everyone in the front and everyone in the back. Um, as Sunny said, I am one of the new student services, new uh, student coordinators. And you probably have seen me in some emails and you probably saw me yesterday running around helping check all of you into GBO. Now, back in 2019, before I met some of my best friends, failed a class or two, attended my first big game, had my first kiss, talk about TMI, uh, and made so many memories at Cal, I was just like you all. I was a new student attending my very first GBO event, Convocation. Since then, I have served our campus community through various roles within the New Student Services Department, the department in charge of Golden Bear Advising, Golden Bear Prep, and Golden Bear Orientation, or as we like to call it, GBO. Again, my name is Jennifer Antunes Lopez, but you all can call me Jenny. I use the she, they pronouns, and I am about to start my final year at Berkeley as a society and environment major. I stand before all of you as one of four students who help plan major GBO events. They like to call us student coordinators. And I am incredibly excited to see all of you embark on your very own GBO journeys. I am sure all of you have a remarkable memory of opening up that acceptance letter and seeing the famous, famous confetti. Some of you, like me, maybe felt shocked, happy, fearful, excited, or even a little worried. Being accepted into a school like Berkeley is a huge accomplishment. It is the product of years of hard work and dedication. So suppose you're dealing with some imposter syndrome or are, Harvey, are having doubts about whether or not you will belong here. Take it from me, a student who's going into her fifth year here at Cal and has seen the good, the bad, and the ugly of this university. You will find your place on campus because you have worked for it. And if you have gotten this far, trust me, you belong here. Now, I know everyone has probably been telling you the same thing. You will find your place, you will find friends, you will find your community. But you're probably still a little lost on how exactly you're supposed to do all of that. How are you supposed to find friends and find your community and find your place where you belong on this campus? Well, that is what GBO is here for. You might have been surprised when you found out how we do orientation here at Berkeley. I know I was when I found out that our orientation is nearly a week long. But fear not, I am here to break it down for you all. 
Your new student orientation, GBO, will run from today, August 17th, through August 21st. However, we do not expect you all to guide yourselves through an entire week of programming. That is why each of you has been assigned into a small group. In these small groups, you will be led by orientation leaders, or like we call them, OLs. Your OLs will be who guide you through the entire week of fun activities and fun programming. Your OLs will share your small group schedule with you a little later on today when you meet them. And it's very important that you follow this schedule. Fun fact, this year there are around 300 unique GBO schedules. So it's really important that you follow your leaders and stick to your schedule. Believe it or not, we have been preparing to welcome all of you for a long time. Your OLs have undergone several days of intensive training to figure out how they're supposed to guide you through a week full of fun and informational programming, such as Bay Area excursions, late night activities. This year, I hear Upper Sprout is turning into a carnival. You didn't hear it from me, though. And many more programs that are designed to help you meet fellow students as well as help you find a sense of community and belonging in your new home, Berkeley. Now, I have, to have a successful GBO, I have a few tips for you all. Number one, you all got a fancy wristband, like the one I have here, and a name tag with your lanyard. Please make sure you have these two things on you at all times during GBO. Treat it like a festival. If you have your lanyard and your name tag and your wristband, you can get into all GBO events. If you don't, you guessed it, you're gonna have a little trouble getting into events and it might take longer to eat your meals. So, the next thing I have for y'all is one more tip. Engage in as much programming as you can. Like we said, there is a lot to do this week, but we want to make sure that all of you are taking care of yourselves. So do whatever it is you need to make sure you are okay throughout the week. Number three, follow your schedule. Again, stick with your group. You're gonna be having your meals with your GBO group and we need to feed all 9,000 of you. So timing is very important. And finally, number four, Feel free to use our help desk. We are going to be located in Upper Sproul in front of Sproul Hall in case you lose your group or have any GBO related questions. Now, I truly hope that all of you enjoy GBO, find community at Berkeley, and have an amazing undergraduate experience. Go Bears! Thank you, Jenny. Now let's get into some Cal spirit. I'm honored to bring up one of our premier singing groups on campus to get you in the mood. Please welcome the UC Men's Octet. Oh, 
I thought we were gonna get another one next time. Thank you, Octet. All right, one more time. Let's bring up Cal Mike Men. All right, let's get another big round of applause for Men's Octet. You'll get to see them again at a lot of the rallies we host, including our homecoming rally and our big game rally, where we build a big old bonfire and burn some trees before the big game. Now, is everyone loose? Is everyone ready? I've got a little bit more difficult of a cheer for you guys. I know it's gonna be really hard for you Cal students, but it's spelling. You think you guys got that? Yeah? All right, all right, here we go. So this one's pretty easy. You're just gonna repeat after me and then you're gonna have to spell. That's the tricky one. I believe in you though, you can do it. All right. Cal students, can you give me a C? C. Oh, what was that? You guys still asleep? Wake up, wake up, here we go. Cal students, can you give me a C? C. Give me an A. A. Give me an L. L. What's that spell? L. Who are we? L. And who's the best? Go Good job, guys. Now, when we do that cheer at games, it'll be who's going to win. So you need to set, scream that last cow as loud as you possibly can. All right. Now, please welcome to the stage one of my favorite groups here at Berkeley, Cal Band.
All right, who says UC Berkeley isn't fun? I mean, we know that it has a reputation of being serious, highly academic, hyper-focused, intense. But you know what? You got to play just as hard. You got to rest, go to a game, make friends, come in, uh, be part of the community, and make your own communities. I want you to, on your phones, just like Coach Charmin, but this time I want you to look up Berkeley Life. Because for those of you who don't like to read to the bottom of our emails, this is where you get the TLDRs, the essential info about activities, events, things that you need to know about your student experience here. So that's Berkeley Life. I know reception's not that great, so you can also remember it for outside. All right, are you all ready to start GBO? Yes, are you ready? Class of 2527, I can't hear you. Are you ready? Are you awake? I think you're a little more awake. All right, I have our last speaker. Don't go anywhere. I see you all getting up. One more person, the most important person who is in charge of this all, Mickey Antovich, who's the Assistant Dean of Students and the Director of New Student Services, who made all of GBO possible. Mickey. Hi everyone, I just want to let you know where you're going next because you all keep asking. We want to make sure you're getting to your orientation leaders. They are anxiously waiting for you. Each of you on your name tag has a number. If you're 100s through 200s, you're going to Valley Life Science Building Lawn. We have incredible volunteers outside. 300s, 400s, 500s, you're going to Memorial Glade. And if you are 600s, 700s, my incredible transfer students, you are going to Crescent Lawn. Thank you all. Have an incredible Golden Bear orientation and go Bears.